how are you? How was your day? Trust you've had a great day. Um, well, we know we are still in the midst of the pandemic. I hope that you will be able to find some time to reflect and to relax. Um, in the last program, we talked about music and the family. I hope that you will listen carefully and perhaps see how we can resurrect maybe some giftings in the area of family. Um, those of you who perhaps start to play before and stop, whether it's a um, piano, guitar, whatever, may want to restart. And of course, you could use improvisation as well um, to really make yourself happy in the Lord. And as we said last week, it provides room for bridging gaps. Um, is intergenerational as well. And uh, it provides several benefits. But today we're going to talk about music as well. But we are talking about music and the church family. Music and the church family. And uh, I trust that we, we would benefit from this presentation. Again, I just want to say to listeners, this program is aimed at enriching family life in all areas, which is a very broad objective. And we really normally pray and ask God to help us in terms of selecting areas of focus. As I said last week, we talked about music and the family. You can say the blood family um, in a household. But now today, we are talking about music and the church family. And I trust that it benefits you. Call a friend. Leave a church member, a fellow member, invite to join with us. I just want to share with you a reading from Colossians chapter 3, verse 15 through 17. I'm using the NIV. It says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful that the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, and as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts. So surely, um, as far back as the Bible times, music was a significant part of worship. And uh, today we want to delve into that a little deeper. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this occasion where we can connect with our Barbadian families and even beyond and as we focus on the importance of music and worship and how Lord you, you in many ways come down and consolidate our faith through this medium. I pray that as we would share today it will bless us and strengthen our hearts, our relationships. This is my prayer for Christ's sake. Amen. Well, today I have with me as usual Reverend Anderson Kellerman, my co-host. Reverend Kellerman. A very blessed evening to you. How, how are you doing? Doing, doing pretty well. Great. Uh, yeah, I'm busy but doing well. Okay. Yes. Glad to have you as usual. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, again we have with us Vallis, Vallis Jimmert, uh, Managing Director of Notes of Praise. Mr. Jimmert, welcome. Thank you for having me. Right, we enjoyed your involvement in the last program. And uh, as I said, today we are focusing on music as it relates to the church family. And uh, listeners and viewers, we'll be back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Welcome back to you viewers. And again, we want to look at the issue of music, but in this, uh, in this program, the context of the church. And we know the church has always had a very long and distinguished association with music. As a matter of fact, many of our areas and, and, and different um, pieces have been written 
for church. Mm -hmm. And so we have, you know, that, that, that legacy. Uh, I want to, again to invite um, Brother, Brother Junior, Brother Jevon, to share with us uh, a little bit about the church and music. The church and music is one of those things, as you said, indicated is, is from way back, from thousands of years ago. I mean, from in Bible times, yes. uh, everything from David and playing f for more or less music and in, in all aspects of church. Mm -hmm. And even coming down into current times, music enhances everything and and if you have a, a church that say for example um, that maybe even a Wednesday night or something like that there and it is just person singing a song but then if you add um, instruments also it adds that additional life that death that joy that emotional aspect that music brings out of person so that is something that it's almost that like we love mm -hmm. music just enhances everything so that's why music is so important in church mm -hmm. and it's a form of worship where we worship to God and God loves music mm -hmm. and when we play skillfully mm -hmm. God enjoys it even more so that is something that we really must do in terms of making all of our music exceptional so God would really appreciate it mm -hmm. yeah I know that what you said though um, uh, German, in terms of you know playing skillfully, you think with David, you know, um, the bass of the desert, you know, Place play, play well. the park, you know, mm -hmm. have saw, like yes. camp saw. Camp saw. right? Mm -hmm. So, so, so the issue of, of music, you know, um, it, it can evoke mm -hmm. you know different emotions, <laughs> and, and certainly uh, it forms a, a wonderful um, environment mm -hmm. um, for, 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 for worshiping mm -hmm. and for being able to approach. Um, God, even into the world of our services. Yes. yes. And I was looking at the spiritual handbook on spiritual formation by Gang Girl and the Hope. And he's talking about music and worship. The, the, the benefits, first of all, he talks about music and affirmation. It allows us to affirm our relationship with God. Music and conservation help us to preserve our faith, mm -hmm. pre preserve and transmit our faith, music and edification, increase understanding of God as the increases the edify vertically as we connect one another, mm -hmm. vertically and of course horizontally, That's right. edification and then hopefully music and celebration. We celebrate our union with God and the many Christ events, mm -hmm. Christ events as we relate his birth, his life, his death, a resurrection coming again. So it's, the, it's, it's a beautiful, I would say, it, it encapsulates yes, right. the entire um, life yes. of Jesus Christ. And it, and it transmits, it transmits yes. um, it to us in terms mm -hmm. of people's experiences. Experiences. You know, um, I'm told that even in terms of how this Messiah, mm -hmm. um, as that was being written, you know, it came to a point where he became even convicted, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and he knelt beside. Um, he stable and, and prayed, you yes. know, and gave us right the Christ. So, mm -hmm. so it has that capacity to yes. really bring us into connect with God. Yes, in the presence yes. of God, you yes. know, it's powerful. And yes. I'm sure, I'm sure, <laughs> yes. I'll put yes. a comment on that on that experience yes. of, of yes. connecting. Uh, the, it, what I love is the fact when you connect. Is sometimes I like even recently we had a service and. I played, and one of my favorite songs of late for me is The Goodness of God. Mm -hmm. And I play that song in a, in, a, in a period, and it almost as if it transformed the whole atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Out of that there, persons came to the altar and pray. Out of just that playing that one song, mm -hmm. persons came mm -hmm. and poured themselves to God. And it was almost as if the whole church came together at that point. And just because of a song mm -hmm. and music has that ability yeah. to so, connect so the song became the common point the, yeah. song, the song was the sermon the, sermon, yeah. the yeah. song the was the point. sermon right so, so, so we can identify mm -hmm. you know with the goodness of God yeah. and mm -hmm. so and so it draws us together mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. a, a, a construct or a concept that we can all identify with 
in, in our various mm -hmm. um, uh, points or stages in life. Mm -hmm. And therefore, then that becomes an impetus. I think um, <laughs> the, yes. whole, the whole idea, mm -hmm. I suppose the song he referred to, the goodness of God, uh, is there is a, okay, you're comprehending, right? So our comprehension mm -hmm. is, is tapped into, but also the whole idea of our emotions. Yes. yes. So there's this intellectual connection. Mm -hmm. But also the emotional connection. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we are we are people of emotion. Yeah, and, and and music is more more music is more powerful than just words. That's right. <laughs> right. But the beautiful thing about it, when when you think of the combination of the words and what they mean. Yes. Because our word, the words in most of the songs we're talking about, um, say theology. Mm -hmm. Theology is encapsulated in the words, and then as it is projected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you, you talked earlier on about the, the divine connection. Yes. That's why God, um, we talked about uh, when the temple was dedicated and when they started to worship. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says the cloud descended, the mm -hmm. God and said the worship. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were hundreds of people, the Levites, and they were yes. singing and they were worshiping. And God turned up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The glory of God is powerful. And it's powerful. I don't know if we understand how powerful music is. Yes. And of course, it's not just literal words, mm -hmm. but coming from the heart. Yes, yes. It's that, that emotional connection, yes. spiritual connection. Yes. Yes. So, so we are man on one hand, and God mm -hmm. comes together. together. Yeah. Come together. <laughs> and, and of course, we can use it also as universality as well, too. Mm -hmm. That's right. right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, wherever we are in the world, yes. you know. I play a song to God be glory. You know what yes. it is. Yes. You know, yes. It's true. It's true. Yeah. It's going to be different because yeah. of language. Yeah. Uh, right. But we know the song. It connects. You know, yes. And, and, and so it connects people as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. And I think I think about you know even our, our general assembly where we have you know thousands of persons from different nations, different languages, con converging different mm -hmm. languages, mm -hmm. and they play a song and we can all erupt in praise mm -hmm. because we know the song. We know yes. The song. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know that that brings us to a very a very um critical point of a party and, and, and uh, <laughs> what doing here. And of course, that has to do with the whole element of contemporary music. These are very traditional uh, traditional music, mm. you know, in terms of hymns and, yeah. and courses. That has been a, mm. a long standing yeah. discussion. I don't want to say debate. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose we're always, we always, we always, but I think yeah, <laughs> I we're always a discussion about mm. um, the, the, the place of hymns and the place of. Of, of modern courses. But do you want to share a little bit your, your thoughts on that? <laughs> um, I, I think I have no problem with it. What I think of it is an um, example of food, right? I might like fried chicken. You might let your chicken bake. Mm -hmm. And so there's nothing from me saying because you eat baked chicken, something is wrong with baked chicken. Mm -hmm. So. This is the music I like, mm -hmm. and this is the music you like, mm -hmm. and we must know how to balance. to balance because it's like even in a sermon, in a sermon, not everything the pastor says is for everyone. Mm -hmm. So you take your portion, and let, and the other person take their portion, mm -hmm. and so the same with music. So mm -hmm. if you someone likes hymns, you let them enjoy the hymns. Mm -hmm. If you like the choruses or more up tempo or more contemporary songs mm -hmm. you enjoy that there but have an appreciation Good for boy. the Good other boy. and know that this, this song may not necessarily appeal to you because some persons may say all right they don't necessarily like hip hop but they may be that person that youngster who that ministers to them so who am i to say right. that that is not shouldn't be in the church or anything like that there because God loves variety. Right. So so what I'm saying <laughs> is that there has to be an element of of of, of sensitivity. Yeah. Yes. One and of course respect, you know. Yeah. Uh, in terms of recognizing that some persons might be moved uh, by one one type of music mm -hmm. as opposed to, to, to another. Mm -hmm. And I, I agree with you though, mm -hmm. I think that, that has to be uh, a reality where the we mix yeah. You know, so that persons from from all different, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, leanings or or, mm -hmm. or you know beliefs, you know, can feel that they are part of, yeah. the, of the entire the entire service, and no one no one element should dominate over the other, but it should be a, a nice mixture mm -hmm. interfacing. 
are the different kinds of, 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 of musical I think, realities. I think that in shape, therefore, of the church, it's it important that we should have some basic guidelines mm -hmm. in terms of our worship team and so on. Um, because it's not because I like, I'm a worship leader, I just sing all the songs I like. Mm -hmm. That's yes. kind of selfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the whole idea is that, okay, at least even one hymn mm -hmm. per, per, per presentation, mm -hmm. right? It, it could be more than one, but I mean at least. Mm -hmm. Because that, uh, that element of the congregation, the, the, the mature persons tend to prefer the hymn. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's some younger persons that may mm -hmm. um, like him as well. But, but I, I think I'll find that in some cases, <laughs> or it, maybe that person don't, don't know the hymns one. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so, so some of the younger folk, yeah, and two that they don't know the history mm -hmm. of some of the hymns because some of those hymns are powerful yeah. testimonies oh, yeah. mm -hmm. of God's grace and God's and mm -hmm. God's favor, God's yes. deliverance. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. it's well with my soul. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one where uh, the writer will have experienced tremendous loss, mm -hmm. uh, tremendous pain, yep. and in spite of it, he's saying mm -hmm. it is well with my, my soul. soul. So. So when we understand the history behind the hymn, yeah. I think it also gives it uh, gives meaning to the hymn for yeah. us as mm. well. Too. We, we have to do respect as well, yeah. uh, and we can't be so selfish. Yeah. I mean, either way, yes. the older ones that will perhaps prefer the hymns, or the ones, the younger ones. But you talked about the hymns. I guess for a long my song with me, <laughs> I really, I, I was tempted to. That song to is titled. <laughs> 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 that song is titled "The Love of God." I just want to read one um, verse. This song sprang out of this passage, I should say, from Romans 8, 38 and 39. Who shall separate us? And convince, Paul says, neither death, nor life, nor angel, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. And all of that, this, is, this song is very much related to that. Reference to the, the last verses uh, is speaking of the love of God. Could we, with ink, the ocean fill, and where the skies of parchment made, where every storm on earth a quill, and every man a scribe by trade, to write the love of God above, would drain the ocean dry. Could not, sorry, nor could the scroll contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. O love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong, it shall forevermore endure the saints and angels' song. The, the imagery, the poetry, when you can imagine, it is so powerful. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, it is scriptural. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that, that part that pretty, that mostly captures me, it talks about to write, if we were Jesus Christ, right? Like trade. Or drain the ocean. Yeah, that part, that part is so amazing. <laughs> yes. And you can visualize the imagery. If each of us is writing, we drain the ocean dry, suggesting the magnificence and the sovereignty of God. Yeah, yeah. Unlimited. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I feel singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Four, 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 four <laughs> metaphors, you know. Um, yeah. Of course, there, there's still metaphors as well in terms yeah, of other songs, of yes. contemporary music as well. Mm -hmm. yes. So, yeah. so I, I think the, the, the real, uh, the real point though is that it needs to be a, a, a wonderful and uh, a delicate engagement mm -hmm. of right. different forms of music right. in our worship. Uh, and and um, mm -hmm. um, Junior, I'm sure that you in terms of the variety of instruments that you use, that you teach and instruct. What are some of the instruments that you, you use? Um, we do keyboard, rhythm, guitar, drum, steel pan, voice, mm -hmm. flute. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have the wide range of Whoa. instruments there yes. that persons can come. Can, can all these instruments, like actually the question, because maybe some of the older generation may not want you want some type of right. they custom the keyboard. Yes, are custom to the organ or so. But the thing about it is that um, whatever <laughs> instrument you play, mm -hmm. you can 
give it as your ministry unto God. Unto God. Once it's in a control setting, yeah, yeah. and once you do it with excellence, right, it's critical right. for you to be skillful. Mm -hmm. That's right. And God loves, yes. God loves yes. that. No matter the yeah. range of instruments, and no matter, uh, as I say, even we were talking before about the range of if you are going all hymns mm -hmm. to total mm -hmm. contemporary or total worship song, God loves. Mm -hmm. Everything in Sorry. between. No, 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 we may not live at certain points, yes. but God loves no, the no, entire range. Some instruments will be better suited for some song. Yeah. Some instruments, yeah. will be yeah. yes. So but then it's, it's also with the skill of the player. Yeah, it's the skill of the player. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I will raise an issue though, mm -hmm. um, and I, I hope it's not a conflictual issue. Um, but one of the things that I've observed over the years though is that the church has become a feeder. Um, for the world in terms of musicians. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a, a lot of persons, they start playing in church and they have their exposure in church. I've been grown in church. You know, yeah. And they do very well. But then they, they, they graduate, you know, and they, they start playing maybe, quote unquote, uh, set clearly. Graduate is right here? Well, 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 Appreciate as we show maybe our musicians, um, in our in our in our church context, though. I would say we don't, we don't, we don't appreciate it. Um, I remember distinctly one thing that um, when it was, I went to an Anglican church, and there were two places reserved, one for the priest, and one for the organist, because. In their setting, the service cannot begin without the organist. The priest can be late, but it cannot begin without the organist. And the same way that we we have a tendency to put musicians lower down, say, okay, yes, yes, it's your talent, use it for the Lord. But this is a professional. Mm -hmm. It's a professional thing. So the same way that an accountant can go and earn money as an accountant, the same way for a musician. Of course, it has to be for that person to decide, am I comfortable in this state, playing this music in this environment? Mm -hmm. But we have permission mm -hmm. to use our talents in our vocation. Yeah. So of course, we will ask God's guidance and direction yeah. in, in what we do. It's not every place we can go and every place yeah. that we play. Yeah, that's, that's an important point. That's very important. Um, mm. Yeah, we, we thank. God for the holiness skills, but I think mm -hmm. sometimes persons, maybe because of the lure of financial gain, mm -hmm. right. sometimes, you know, and, and, and that never ends up good, you know. But then again, the, a, a plumber not only fits his pipes church. at church, mm -hmm. <laughs> so as a musician, I'm with you, but I'm saying uh -huh. that the motivation is important. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. But, but I don't say though, mm -hmm. Reverend Farley, mm -hmm. um, from the side of, do, do we do uh, justice mm -hmm. in our remuneration mm -hmm. of, of, our, of our musicians? Yeah, and, I, and, and I, I don't think that, that some of the allure mm -hmm. occurs because, and of course, I mean, we, we devalue. Yeah, yeah, we devalue, yes. and we do not, we do not understand the giftings, mm -hmm. and we do not try And it's worth. And it's worth. And, and, yes. and I think that that's, that's the issue though mm -hmm. that, is coming out here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that person will have to make uh, decisions based on, on their conscience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, and maybe as a church, you have to revisit our thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember a, 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 a gentleman from our church, he's now deceased. You know, he one day he said to me, uh, very, very conservative, he said to me, you know, we have to rethink, you know, our, mus our musicians mm -hmm. and, uh, and how they're remunerated. You know, he said that to me in a, in a very clear way. Mm -hmm. Because after someone goes to community college or wherever they go, mm -hmm. and they earn, um, you know, their qualifications in music, mm -hmm. then they, they are expected to, to make a life from music. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, yeah. and, and we have to be conscious of that. Mm -hmm. We go through a process of, of rethinking that mm -hmm. because that is very, very, very important. Well, a good point for us to end here. And I, I, I want to leave that discussion um, <laughs> for the church leaders. See how you can surely appreciate your musician. I'm sure you're well appreciated <laughs> in that in circle, but that is a critical point. Well, we'll be back with you in a moment, viewers. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 
as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. That was a wonderful presentation by Notes of Praise, one of the bands, and um, great job. Keep up the good work. As Thank you, you. As you try to, I am a great cause by videos, touch the lives through music, and may God bless you in your school. Um, Notes of Praise, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, situated in... Time more Crescent Black Rock. Right, of course, now you're doing many of the sessions online. Yes. What's the number you're going to get your way? Uh, you can reach me at 233-6821. Yeah, 233-6821. Six six eight eight one. One. All right. <laughs> and thanks for coming, Robin Kelman, with give us a closing remarks. Uh, well, thank you very much, um, <laughs> uh, Brother Jamet. I think we have quite a very lively um, engagement this, this, this uh, evening. And I look forward to us maybe at some time even uh, reviewing and revisiting that topic in terms of um, the, the relationship between uh, the church and, and music, you know, how, how does the uh, who, who plays the church, how do they, um, you know, play outside the church, or what are some of the uh, factors that we need to look at? Uh, I, I think that's going to be important. And I trust, though, that, uh, that, that us who are ministers would, you know, do show uh, a bit of gratitude and appreciation to our musicians yes. uh, for the wonderful work that they are doing mm -hmm. in, our, in our churches. Shall we, shall we pray? Father, we, we give you thanks, Lord, for this. Uh, great gift of music and for the impact Lord it has on us we pray God even now for uh, those persons who are who are involved in church music I pray God you grant them uh, the strength and the wisdom and the skill that they need oh Father in leading uh, worshipers Lord into your presence I pray that even now for, for the German for notes of praise I may they grow from strength to strength in Jesus name we pray Amen Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Yours.